welcome to this video lesson. Uh, I'm Lane Garner. Thanks for checking this out. Today we're talking about an idea called the continuous strum. This concept is useful for both beginner and guitar players trying to kind of level up, or uh, for teachers also looking for ways to describe concepts to their students. Uh, so the idea here is that kind of no matter what we do, we're gonna have a nice continuous strum. So it works really well for kind of funky styles like you saw in the intro, and it also works really great for kind of like acoustic strumming styles. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do to practice the continuous strum is to practice playing downstrokes on the downbeats. So essentially, we're playing quarter notes as downstrokes. Uh, the symbol for a downstroke looks kind of like a top hat, and we'll just play a simple G chord for this, but you could play any chord or any chord progression. It's a great way to practice new chords, too. Okay, so in order to play two downstrokes in a row, we have to lift the picks, the pick kind of like past the strings. So if we hit the strings, that gives us eighth notes. So now we'll play down up as eighth notes, upstroke looks like a V. Okay, so now we can come up with more complex uh, strum patterns by not hitting the strings, doing what I always refer to as a silent stroke. The first one we'll do, let's say, beat of three. So we'll do, we'll tie and of two to beat three on a silent stroke. We're really keeping time in that right hand. Let's take that one step further. We're gonna keep the silent stroke on beat three and do another one on the end of four. So you can see how we can get tons of different uh, versions of this strum pattern. Uh, now, if we wanna make this funkier, uh, really what it takes is staccato uh, notes in the right hand. Basically just lifting the fingers up a little bit, playing a nice short. Listen to the difference between that and. Same right hand technique, I'm. Basically keeping, keeping time in my right hand is a good way to think of it. Now, if I uh, kind of add those staccato notes in the left hand, it makes it get really nice and funky. So maybe you're saying, Lane, what about 16th notes? All we need to do is change our basic downstroke pattern to eighth notes, uh, which will make the uh, upstrokes into the 16th notes. So quarters first. And it's really as easy as that. Uh, you'll start to see this used by tons of guitarists also. Uh, if you watch people like, say, Dave Matthews, it's one that comes to mind that is kind of a master of this style. 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified about new videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these short YouTube lessons uh, while I'm here stuck at home. Um, I hope you got something useful out of this, either as a player or a teacher yourself. I hope there are some good kind of useful concepts in there. I found that this is really, really great for teaching, teaching beginners. Uh, into intermediate players how to really kind of like take their playing up to the next level. So until next time.